welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week, I'm in New York. I'm visiting with one of my friends, Teddy. We're in Puerto Portos for a few days, and then we're going to Soler and Dea for a couple of days. We're here for five nights in total, so I thought, may as well bring you guys along as usual and show you the places where we eat, outfits, and a little bit of what we get up to. Sorry for my super tired eyes. This week has been so, so, so busy with work. I really just have not even been sleeping. So I'm really looking forward to this holiday so I can relax and sleep on the beach and just chill out and take things a little bit easier. Although I will still be doing a little bit of work on this trip. Let me show you guys my outfit today. We are just about to head down to breakfast. So this is what I've put on, but I'll probably change into something else and my bikini later on. I've got a knitted vest on. I really, really just love the shape and the fit of this vest. Um, it's quite e eerie and breezy as well. And then I've got these trousers on. These are old from ASOS, um, but always good to have a pair of linen, style trousers in your wardrobe and holiday wardrobe for summer. And then I've got my Loewe basket bag. This is my like beach bag that I'm using every day, like my day-to-day -day bag. And then I've got on sandals. These are from Zara and they're super comfortable. They are a tiny bit slippery. I don't have, they think they have, I don't think they have much grip on the bottom. So that's only one thing to be wary about. Jewelry, I'm wearing my earrings from Astrid and Mew. And my necklace, this is like my everyday favorite one that you guys have probably seen, is from Majuri and it's the flat snake chain. And then I've got this really funky gold cuff on which is from Soru Jewelry. I've honestly been wearing this cuff all summer. And then I've got my bangle on from Monica Vinida. And this is me to go down to breakfast. We had a lovely day at the beach. It was so hot. How hot was it? Was it 35 degrees? 32, I think. 32 degrees. Okay, well, it felt like 40. We got there, I think, around 11.30, so there wasn't any beds left. So we put our towels down and we didn't really have shade apart from when we went to go and get our lunch and drinks. But we managed to stay cool by going in the sea. And the sea was so beautiful. I would say it's quite a busy beach, probably because it has access to the towns nearby. There's lots of hotels around, but it was so, so beautiful, which I'm sure you will agree from the pictures. They don't have loads and loads of sunbeds. There is also a beach club that you can reserve beds with, but you have to do that in advance. It's called Balneiro Eletas because it's Eletas Beach. And now we are going to the marina. We were actually thinking to go into Palma, but we we're waiting ages for our taxi and we just thought, let's just stay here and then have food or a mooch around, around the port. And if we decide we want to go into Palma later, we will. We have just <laughs> arrived at Cappuccino Cafe, which is like prime people watching spot on the port and the yachts. We had a little cheeky look at the yachts. There's so many. <laughs> and we have some cocktails. Cheers. You looks really nice. It's in like a tiki glass. Oh, it's like cream on top. It's lime cream and cocktail. Oh, looks so nice. And I have a pisco sour, which is on my lips. We were really, really, really thirsty. We were taking some pictures in the sun and it super, super dehydrated us. And we were like sweating. This heat is no joke, is it? But I'm not complaining because it is so cold in London and it's so nice to be somewhere that's so hot! <laughs> Hey guys, it's 
day two and we are going to the beach again today and then we are going to Soleil to stay for a couple of nights. So we've been in Puerto Portos for two nights, Friday and Saturday. And then we're going to Soleil and we're going to visit Dea, which I'm so excited about because Dea looks so, so beautiful. We're just heading down to breakfast and I popped on this white dress. Probably a bit too much for breakfast, but I don't know when else I'll wear it. I might wear it in one of the evenings again but i kind of have other outfits reserved for the evening so i thought may as well pop this on and wear it while i'm here this is the dress from cos it's a really pretty maxi length white sundress and it has this cute open back design and i really like the tiered a-line shape just think it looks super chic. This would be really nice for evening. It's just that I have other outfits that I've planned already for evening. Um, but otherwise it would be a nice outfit for exploring. And again, I've paired it with my mango raffia bag just for breakfast. I have changed after breakfast and ready to go to the beach now. I'm wearing the Monday swimwear bikini. I really love this bikini, it's so comfortable. And I really like this stripe detail. And then I've got a shirt on. This is a linen shirt from Arcat. So hopefully it should be really easy, breezy and breathable when it's super hot at the beach. Obviously I'll take it off anyway. And I've got these linen shorts on from Cos. They're so nice. I really like a longer short. I'm not really into mini shorts. And they have this elasticated waistband here, which makes them super comfortable to wear. Like if I have lunch and, you know, get bloated or anything like that, then they're still going to fit so nice. Um, and these were true to size, so you can go for your usual size. I just love a matching cohort on holiday. You don't have to think about it. It's limited effort. You look put together, but at the same time, it's effortless, chic, and if I do say so, looks cool. And these are actually not from the same place. Like this is from Arquette and this is Cos, but just matching, same colors. I think it goes quite nicely with the bikini too. And then I've got my tan sandals on, but I might actually change those to my Havianas because they are more practical and super comfortable for the beach. And then I've got my favorite sunglasses on from Celine, um, which you guys know I just wear all the, all the time because I love the design of them. We have arrived in Soleil. I realized that earlier I was saying it wrong when I was saying Soleil because my friend Teddy speaks almost fluent Spanish and she was pronouncing it as Soye. So we have arrived in Soye. It is so, so beautiful. It looks really rustic. It feels like I'm on like a movie scene. All of the little cobbled streets and the beautiful buildings. It just looks honestly amazing. I have washed my hair <laughs> because it was so salty and probably had half the sea in it and seaweed and God knows what else. And I've got ready for dinner. We haven't booked anywhere. We've actually been super casual on this trip, which is kind of unlike me. Usually I like to book a few places um, based on recommendations, but this is a really last minute trip. We literally booked flights like a week or two ago. And it's actually been quite nice to just go with the flow in Puerto Portals, we had no issue with just walking around and trying to get a table. We didn't even have to wait. So let's see what it's like in Soye. I know that if we stayed in Palma, because I've stayed in Palma twice before, that you do need to book, especially if there's like specific restaurants that you want to go to, because they get booked up so quickly, like weeks in advance. This is the outfit that I've got on. I'll see if I can try and show you because there is limited mirrors in this room. I think this might be as good as we are going to get in this space and limited mirror. 
I've got on a set from Abercrombie. I've actually been really loving Abercrombie for summer stuff. I used to work at Abercrombie and like Gilly Hicks when they had the spin-off, which was like really popular for teenage girls. And I used to love the stuff back then, but to be honest, I haven't shopped there for so many years, but now they're bringing out so many really cool, really pretty, chic pieces for summer and this is a little bit different it's like a fun print i don't usually wear color but i do like a little bit of blue in the summer so i've got a co top on and it's got these really like, puffy sleeves and i love this like detail on it i think it's really pretty and then i've got a matching skirt which i will try to show you as much as possible of It's really floaty, like it goes all the way down to the floor. When Teddy comes back, I'll see if she can get an outfit video for me. Um, and then I think I might just wear sandals because we're going to be walking around. So I want to be comfortable while we're doing that. There's also this tram that goes all the way through Soye. It's like a tourist attraction, but apparently it's the quickest way for us to get to the port as well. So I think we're gonna go on that, which will be really cool because it's like a old traditional train and apparently it only stops if you pull on the horn thing literally so it goes choo choo which will be um quite fun something different to do so just so you can see the skirt let's see how this works but it's all the way to the floor and it has a high waist and this elasticated waistline which is nice because it cinches you in, but there's still room after I've eaten food because we want to be comfortable on holiday and jewelry is actually nothing new. I keep going for the same jewelry because I just love it. So I'm wearing these beautiful earrings from Astrid and Mew. These are my favorite earrings for summer. Gosh, wow, my nails have grown so quickly. I've literally booked in the day that I get back to get my nails sorted out. Um, and then the same necklace and jewelry as yesterday. Also, one thing I have been loving putting on for summer, whether that's I'm on holiday or I'm at home and it's really warm and I'm wearing a dress or my legs are out or my arms are out, it's the Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil. I actually had the discontinued version of this. It was like lighter in color, but gave such a gorgeous shimmer and glow. It also smells amazing. I'm just gonna put it on my shoulders um, and maybe like my arms by here. And I will show you guys. Oh my gosh, wow, it smells amazing. It smells like summer in a bottle. I hope you guys can see that, but can you just see how it's just added such a gorgeous warm color? It's so pretty. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Kind of smells like a little bit of coconut, vanilla. It just smells sweet, but it smells gorgeous. Apparently you can use it as a highlighter or mix with foundation. Personally, I probably wouldn't do that because I think it is, it's an oil. I wouldn't really wanna do that. But on my body, on my shoulders, can you just see that shine that is added on this side? I am obsessed. It's also sold out in so many places, but I managed to pick it up before holiday from Space NK. So hopefully that's where you can get it and I'll try to link it if they still have it all glowy and ready for dinner. We are walking to the bus stop and we can see the sunset. Oh, I wonder if that's a fancy house. Oh, that's the botanical garden. We're just walking past the botanical garden, which we saw is somewhere that is potentially good for us to go to. But everywhere is so, so pretty. Look, this is the view. It looks so rustic. I understand now why so many people get married in Mallorca. When we were at our other hotel checking out, there was actually a wedding party checking in. And I just thought, how beautiful would it be to get married in Mallorca? There is so much beautiful countryside. And we can see the sun setting. 
This feels so romantic for mine and Teddy's gals couples holiday. It looks so, so sunny. Teddy's got almond cake, cream. That looks so nice. It's like toffee and chocolate sauce. Yeah, you can try some of my class one if you want. I can have a bite of yours. <laughs> and we both have cappuccinos and orange juice. And I've got a chocolate croissant. A chocolate, chocolate croissant. It's like the size of my head. You can have some too. It's so beautiful. The clouds are slightly ruining the vibe, but it's so pretty. We have just come to the Belmont Hotel called La Residencia, and it's so beautiful. It's like hidden in the hills, and they have a balcony or dining area overlooking the hills. It's just so picturesque. I would just say that everyone says, come to Dea, there's lots to do or it's so beautiful and while it is really really beautiful there isn't that much to do we're walking around and there's not that many shops there isn't even that many cafes so i think unless you're going to specifically come here for a restaurant or you're staying here there actually isn't all that much to do um but it was pretty to see so it wasn't completely a wasted journey but I would keep that in mind. I have visited Valdemossa before and there's so much to do there. They have beautiful gardens you can go and visit. They have so many cafes and restaurants. Like that is a full day out. So I'd probably recommend going to Valdemossa over Dea, unless there's something that we're missing. But we have looked on multiple websites to see what we can do in Dea. <laughs> It's midday and we are leaving day now because there isn't that much here, is there? <laughs> like, it's so pretty, don't get me wrong. Um, and I imagine maybe if you're staying here, you have a nice pool and mega chill out vibes. But as someone coming for the day, there isn't all that much to do. Maybe if we were to go to, as a romantic date to or that to place. Eat. La Residencia, yeah, to eat. But then I don't know if I would do that treacherous bus ride again. No. It's so windy, and as someone who gets like travel sickness, um, it's one to watch. Just catching you guys up on what we've been up to today. So since we got back from Dea, me and Teddy decided to do our own thing today because I had some work things to do and Teddy wanted to head to Palma, but there wouldn't have been enough time for me to finish my work and go. So we've done our own separate thing and I've just been having an explore of Soye. It's a little bit cloudy today, which makes walking around a little bit easier. It means it's more humid, but not so hot. And I had a yummy ice cream, which I couldn't film because it melted so, so quickly. And then I've just been walking around the little square. It's such a cute little town. I think it's perfect to stay here for a couple of days. There's lots of restaurants. You've also got the port, which is super beautiful where we saw the sunset yesterday, which was amazing and so, so, so gorgeous. And just look at this view behind me. It's very mountainous as well, but it's just so picturesque. It has the most beautiful landscape. I think this evening I will have a little look more around some of the shops and then maybe grab some tapas on my own. I don't think Teddy will be back until later on because she did say that she wanted to stay in Palma until later. So it will be dinner for one, which will be an interesting experience. I've not really done that before on holiday, but I also do think it's nice. I have always wanted to do a trip on my own somewhere in Europe where I just go relax, do my own thing. I know this is only one day on my own, but 
I think it will be peaceful and it will be good to also just spend some time on my own. I feel like this summer has been so amazing, but it's just been so busy with work, um, which is not a complaint because of course, being self-employed, it's so good to be busy, but it's good to take some downtime too on holiday and some alone time too. Also, I didn't tell you guys where my dress is from today, but it's honestly so comfortable. It's a halter neck dress. It's from Pretty Lavish. Pretty Lavish have so many beautiful, classic and chic summer designs. And it's a maxi length and it has really pretty tiers going down it as well. I think it's just like the perfect summer dress. You can wear it for the day or you could dress it up with cute sandals and a clutch bag and chunky jewelry for the evening and it feels really nice and floaty which is just what you need when you're somewhere that's really really hot and it's backless <laughs> i don't really know how i can show you guys how it's backless but it has a really deep back which is nice because i'm not going to get any horrible crisscross tan lines on my back and it just feels really nice in the warm weather because it's super breathable the material is not suffocating at all and also it's not tight on my stomach i had a coffee and a croissant this morning and it bloated me so much sometimes i don't know why i have coffee because it always does that um but this dress was super comfortable so i am grateful for that it is tapas dinner time for one and I have found a really cute spot just in the Soye main square. It's so easy to filter good restaurants on Google reviews. Not booking restaurants on this trip has actually been really nice to keep things casual. So just searched for tapas and then it filtered by distance and reviews and then checked some of the pictures and reviews and in five minutes I had picked a restaurant. Super, super easy. The place is called La Cosona de Soye. So let's see what it's like. So far, so good. Just ordered an Aperol. And this is the view on the other side. There's quite a lot going on in the square, which is quite nice for people watching and just soaking up the atmosphere, especially because I'm on my own. It's so cool. The train or the tram just goes through the center of the square. All of the food has arrived and I'm so excited to tap in. Actually, if you're watching this, I think this is a sign to go on a date with yourself and have a meal, go out, go to the cinema or go for dinner on your own and just take in the ambience, especially if you're on holiday. I guess it's difficult if you've gone on holiday with someone, but I'm so excited to tap into this. And yeah, it sounds weird, but just sort of be on my own and enjoy my own company. This is definitely a new one for me. I don't think I've ever gone for dinner at a restaurant, especially on holiday, not even probably in London, on my own. The cheesecake looks insane. This is a Basque cheesecake. So it's baked instead of one that you put in the fridge and served with raspberry ice cream. It looks so yummy. We have a huge breakfast spread. What's this? Oh, tomato, avocado, and toast. The toast looks nice. And orange cake for Teddy, poached eggs and toast. And coffees all around and orange juice. Is that fresh orange juice? Yeah, what's oh. left of it? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I look like such an egghead. We just had a yummy breakfast and we are now going to the port and we're going to the beach, but we are going on a tram. So they have this tram that runs through from Soye Town Square to the beach. Otherwise, it's about 25 minutes to get there on the bus, like walking and the bus. But we thought we may as well get the cool tram. Hopefully we will see the pretty landscape and all the hills and mountains. It's also one of the oldest trains. So I think it's been here since like 1910. So it's over a hundred years old. 
We're excited. It's super cloudy, so we decided to grab some food. And I've got a Nutella crack with ice cream. My sweet tooth got the better of me. And it looks so nice. Also, look at the cutlery. It's so small. It's like a small knife and fork. It's so cute. But I'll show you my food. It looks so nice. I have a crab with chocolate, vanilla, ice cream, and bananas inside. This is the view of the port. The port is so, so pretty. And the beach is nice too. Hopefully the sun will come back out. It's our last night. It's Tuesday night and we fly home tomorrow. We are going to get tapas and get an Aperol spritz to toast our last night. But we do still have the rest of tomorrow, so we're going to go to the beach because we both don't fly until eight and nine. So Teddy will fly back to Frankfurt and I'll fly back to London. And this is my dress. I'm wearing a white bodycon dress from House of CD. I realized that was a really rubbish video of my outfit. So once Teddy comes back down, I will ask Teddy to get a quick video. Um, but it's such a nice dress. It's like a maxi length dress and the material is really like figure hugging and really cinches you in. It's a lovely dress for holidays or summer evenings and like date nights or if you have a special occasion. And my earrings, these are from Mango. I love like a big statement earring from for holiday. I've been trying to scout out some others because I feel like I'm missing some variety. And then I've got my Missouri necklace on as usual. And this gorgeous cuff from Soru Jewelry. And then again, predictable, this cuff bracelet from Monica Vinader, which I absolutely love. It's so good for every day, as well as wearing in the evening. And I'm so looking forward to having some tapas and a drink tonight with Teddy. So Teddy has just got changed. And how gorgeous is this dress? It's from Massimo Duty. No, Oisho. Oh, it's from Oisho. Yeah, it's so pretty. I really love Oisho pieces. I'm so glad they actually have one in London as well. I didn't realize. It looks like Massimo Duty though, like with the moniker and vibes. Oh, cute shoes. The comfy ones. So we are tapas ready. Spritz ready. So this is the dress from House of CB. It's maxi length. And yeah, I think it's a great holiday summer dress or occasion wear dress. I love and we're on our way to Palmer Airport and look at the amazing views it's just been so beautiful in this town also I do apologize if this vlog has been a little bit here there and everywhere I think it's because we've been moving around because we did a few days in Puerto Portals and then we were in Soye and we didn't have a base so it just feels like it may not have been as smooth as other travel vlogs but i will leave the links to all of my outfits in the description box and if you have any questions then let me know and thank you so much for watching